Hi, and welcome to another video analysis with rugby dump coaching in the dead ball area. As the organisation of defences get more complex, attacking coaches are constantly looking for ways to create scoring opportunities. One of the most effective methods of beating a compressed defence has been the crossfield kick, so we're going to take a look at a few examples and break down the mechanisms involved. Probably the two biggest current proponents of the crossfield kick are England and Ireland. Against Scotland, Ian Madigan put in a pinpoint kick that Luke Fitzgerald was able to collect at full pace to score. And against France, Alex Good similarly landed the ball in Johnny May's awaiting arms. Both are excellent tries. The two kicks we're going to look at in more detail though are Fiji vs England in the opening game of the World Cup and England vs Ireland in the last World Cup warm-up game. Let's start with Fiji. The try starts with a fantastic turnover by Fiji at England's scrum, resulting in Fiji setting a ruck right on the England try line. If we stop here, we can see that England's defence setup is very narrow. Brad Barrett has come into a blocking position, and we can see wider that Brown has stepped into the outside centre channel, with Ford dropping into the pocket for the kick. Now that's standard off of a defensive scrum, but importantly, Watson is left covering from the post to the touchline, and that is an issue when they turn over the ball. With England losing the ball and Barrett affecting the tackle, their entire open side defence is reduced to three men. So we can see straight away, even with the forwards folding around to make up numbers, Watson is left isolated and covering a lot of space. Volla Volla goes to the air and Adola makes a fantastic catch. Now if we change the angle we can see a couple of really important things. The first is how Volla Volla kicks the ball. He gets underneath it and makes it backspin. Now this is important because it gives it more hang time allowing Adolo to get underneath it. Secondly is where the kick is placed. He has Watson moving backwards whereas Adolo comes from out to in. This means Watson is unsighted and has no idea when Dola is in relation to his jump and the timing of the catch. But it also means Dola has all the momentum coming forward and he's able to get up, dominate the contact and make the catch. And it's a really wonderful try. Now if we jump back a couple of weeks to the England versus Ireland game we can see a similar setup process. This time England setting and driving from the line out. The Irish midfield have actually mirrored up but Ford goes to the air and again we see that the winner of the jump is the player coming from out to in with the momentum. As we can see here, Zebo is backpedalling and he's completely unsighted by Watson who coming from out to in is able to get up and over the top of Zebo. Again, it's an excellent try. And there's a bit of belief that crossfield kicks come down to luck, but in reality these are well worked training ground plays executed perfectly. The situation is a one versus one, manufactured and exploited in a way that gives the attacking side all of the advantage and can be a useful weapon in any team's arsenal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. 